Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So the last place we left off, Jack had just come to visit because Filio had turned into a giant freaking werewolf. Or a werefilio. Something like that. And at least you were having a very weird conversation. Like, are they are they dating? Are they not dating? Are they engaged? <laughs> very, very curious. <laughs> very confused. But anyway, guys, confusion just, just uh, goes along with the nature of this game. <laughs> but hey, let's jump right into it. Please sit back and enjoy my chain for the next 20 minutes, and let's go. Okay. Alarm chain, you're up. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> the people affected by the drug aren't necessarily cured. None of, them go out, none of them got out of rehab yet. The first case we had was over three weeks ago, but that guy's still in the containment center. So our choices are either we look after him for a while or give him to the authorities so they can observe. So he has acted normal, right? Yes, I think. He hasn't done anything dangerous. Then I think it is best for us to look after him for a while. You see, we've never seen a case like this before. A mind crystal clear for days after the consumption of the drug. I saw symptoms of plaque in him last night while we were at the bar. It's pretty clear that he is affected, but not in a way that I've expected. So this is a rare case? Seems like it. What about the people? Do they know about this? He shakes his head. What? If word spreads, the city will be in chaos. That's why we don't spread it. Not me, not the authorities, not even the mayor. This isn't going to end well. We can only hope to create the cure before things get worse. For now, we should only worry about Filio. <laughs> In other urgent matters, he places an arm on my chest. Oh, from, from, okay. He places an arm on my chest. Wanna... Hmm. Fine, fine. Later. I gotcha. <laughs> it's not exactly the best time to make the panky and the spanky. I stretch and roll to the cold parts of the bed. So cold. Ah, uh, I almost forgot I'm alone here. Ah, uh, I yawned and curled my toes. Door opens. Hello. I see the wolf curled up against the lion who was sleeping. Also, why is Filio naked? I thought this was a pajama party. <laughs> hmm. Leo? I lean closer to look at him. Still asleep. Hey, Phil! <laughs> Guess I'll cook us breakfast then. The door closes. <laughs> I prepared some eggs and bread for some French toast. After frying up some of the eggs, I spread a stick of butter on the pan and made some toast. Morning. He goes to get some water for the coffee maker and stood, waiting for it to boil. How's the sleepover? Ugh. Not too great. I turned into that thing again. Huh? I thought it was a one-time thing. Apparently not. Are you okay now, though? He feels around his body. Yeah, I'm feeling normal. He feels his crotch. All in one piece. Though, when I turned into a beast, I felt something weird between my legs. Other than my dick, of course. I feel like I had an extra pair of balls. Huh. He pours some coffee and milk into a, ju into a mug. Should we call Leo for breakfast? I don't think we should. I'm sure he didn't sleep well after that happened. Uh, uh right. Wanna eat? Sure. I plated the eggs and toast for the both of us and went to the living room to eat. <laughs> ah. He plops himself onto the sofa. Pass me the remote. I toss it to him. The TV flickers on, and his thumb rapidly presses on the next button. Switch to the news. Nobody watches the news. What do you mean nobody watches the news? Don't you want to see what's new outside? Nope, it's boring outside. He goes on. He goes to the MeTube app instead and browses some videos on the games category. I haven't been playing some games for a while. I wonder if there are any new releases. You're also supposed to teach me how to play with your laptop. Didn't you promise that a day ago? Huh, I did. I forgot about that. I'll teach you after we eat. We both pause, frozen in time, and we stare at the short clip. Hmm. Hmm. Awesome. Just before he's about to click on a video, he stops on a thumbnail of a guy being restrained with a canine muzzle. It's the local news. He opens the video. Uh-oh. 
Live from the streets of New York City, a naked jaguar, 20-year-old Harris Pawthorn, really? Was tranquilized after mauling two civilians inside a coffee shop. Local authorities have tried to obtain info from young Harris, but his response are only growls and further aggressive meowing. Aggressive. Whoa. Okay. Uh, we're live at NYPD. Uh, we're live at NYPD to interview a local who was near the crime scene. What can you say about the incident? Uh, shit was crazy, bro. I was like out to buy me them fresh greens for breakfast. So there was screaming and growling everywhere. Then I saw this uh, weirdo ripping apart pink his overalls, chasing two poor fellas. Thought I was tripping, but when I saw him leaping from way downtown and call the other guy's ears off, I was like, oh, hell nah, brah. He was sleeping. He was uh, running real fast and acting like a real panther you'd see from a zoo. I mean, he is a panther, but you get what I mean. Do you, you do know we're animals too, right? Yeah, I know, but damn. If you saw it with your own two eyes, you'd be thinking of that wacko, if that wacko was taking drugs. He was taking drugs. Oh. <laughs> Shit, yo, that's crazy. Specialists are running, uh, are currently running on researches for a cure to the effects of the drug, Plaka. Some experts speculate that this can't be treated at all. Local authorities have also been investigating on who is distributing these drugs and only lead the, they have so far reports of hooded men roaming the streets late at night. Uh-oh. He looks to me. Hey, you'll be fine. Yeah, but... But what if I turn into that? I don't want to be a mindless beast ripping people apart. You did say you're feeling fine, didn't you? Hmm. He shoved his breakfast into his mouth in one bite and went back to the kitchen. That's a good way to choke again, you idiot! Oh my god, what is with the fucking allergies? <laughs> I'm going out. Where? To the gym. You're going to work out? It'll take my mind off things. I'll be using Leo's car. He goes to our room and changes his clothes. <laughs> hmm. I'm coming with you. Hmm? Are you sure? You might not feel safe around me. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. I doubt you'll rip me apart. I could. He packs two rolls of shirts into a small bag. I'm coming anyway. Hmm. Fine. I'm gonna get the keys from Lowe's room. Are you even allowed to drive? Nope. <laughs> I waited for him by the door. He then comes back, shaking a ring of keys. If we get the trouble, I'll, be, I'll put all the blame on you. What? Hmm. -mm. Fair enough, but I doubt we'll be in trouble anyway. Oh? We won't get in trouble if we don't get caught. Oh. He hops into the driver's seat while I also took the front. The city's main gym, that's the only one I know. Mm-hmm, where all the hot men of your type are all gathered. Shut! Heh. <laughs> Off to the gym to meet some men. That rhymed. His steely gaze followed on the road with fists, clenched, with fists clenching on the steering wheel. I swear it looks like it would break in half. I gently tap on his shoulder. Hmm? I'm a bit tense. You don't say. Sweat pours down from his brows. I turn up the air conditioner. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, damn. That, that, that's, uh, oh, God, that, ah, it's so white. Oh, I, this, oh, this is a weird looking gym. Oh, it's so weird. Discord, no. We arrived at the gym without any trouble other than Philia looking like he went for a shower on the way. Both of us went to sign up, the wolf only uttering a few words but answering succinctly. I'll go get a head start with some stretches. He takes off his shirt and hands it to me. I then pause to stare at his body. Hell yeah. Well? Oh, uh... <laughs> I grabbed a fresh new towel from our locker and sat on the side, watching him from a distance. He goes on to bench press and to assemble a barbell. A barbell. A barbell. A barbell. <laughs> to my surprise, he picks up an 80 pound plate with relative ease, like picking up a piece of paper. He looks at the plate in astonishment and gazed at me with confusion. Oh god. Huh. What? 
He gives me the plate and I immediately hold it up with both hands as I almost drop it from his way. Oh, sorry about that. It's actually a bit heavy, but I hand it to him and he picks it up again with relative ease. Huh. Whoa. Can you try flipping it around? He flips the metal plate with a, like a lightweight pancake, also spinning it on his palm like a coin. What the f- Wow. Dude. Bro. I have superpowers. You have superpowers! <laughs> Holy crap! We have to jump around in excitement. Can you fly? Let me see. He jumps a couple times, but it doesn't seem to work. Try raising your arm like this. I raise my arm to the ceiling. He nods and follows, jumping while looking up. Still not working. Wait, maybe I need to say a catchphrase. Oh, yeah! He poses once more. Shazam! <laughs> hmm. Maybe you can't fly. Yeah. Still. I got super strength. Try lifting that 400 pound weight over there. Uh, guys, maybe take it a little bit easy. We pointed at the gigantic barbell sitting at the corner. We both rush to it. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. He takes a deep breath and positions himself in a squat. With both hands, the enormous weight lifts off the ground in one swift motion. Holy! It's a little heavy, but it's easy to lift. Do you know what this means? We could break vending machines and get all the food? What? I mean, um, but we can do stuff. Wanna go have some fun? Hell yeah! Both of us ran out of the gym and back into the car. So what's the plan? Arcade! Arcade? You know the boxing thing and the hammer? Oh! Unlimited tickets! Unlimited prizes! We drove off and headed to the local arcade. Oh my god. 99,997, 99,998, 99,999, 100,000 tickets! You sure that's enough for 5,000 bucks? Let's find out! We went to the counter and had all the stack of tickets exchanged. It's pretty awesome how the jackpot for the arm wrestling booth was 5,000 tickets. Else this would have taken forever. I turned I turn to the worn down arm wrestling machine. Its mechanical arm was on the verge of falling off. Yep, I don't even feel tired at all. The cashier looks at the both of us in disbelief as she hands us the envelope of cash. Five thousand bucks! Holy crap! What are we gonna do with this? You wanna eat at a really fancy restaurant? Yeah, you guys could save some of it. We went back to the car. Hmm. I check my phone. It flashes the time. 2 p.m. Ugh! I stretch my arms and yawn, my tail flicking... My tail flick, small tail flicking upwards. Hello there, little one. Delighted by its adorable movements, I nearly straightened its fur. Hmm? Wait, wait, what? Wait. Oh, his tail. Okay. <laughs> He's talking to his tail for some reason. Filio? I knock on their door. Filio! Ludus! I knock on the. I knock and. I knock on their doors, but there's no response. Sneakily cre creaking through the door, I plan on surprising them, catching them in the act. Ha! It's empty. Hmm. Guys? Ludus? Oh! My eyes pause at the food on the table and quickly grab the plate of eggs and toast. Though the bread was already a bit hard to chew. Cold. Yes, it's been sitting there! Ooh, I like that. Oh, man, it's good artwork. Oh, my God, Ludus, what the fuck? I'd like, um, huh. The waiter looks at the two of us with wide eyes and a blank expression. You know what? I'd like to hear your thoughts first. Why, certainly. I love the poached pineapple, the Sic Sicily ice cream, rum raisin, and passion fruit. Exquisite! C'est magnifique! Bonjour! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Baguette, oui, oui. <laughs> uh, would that be all? Wait! Forgive me the chef's recommendation. 
A moment, monsieur. My god, what the fuck. Philly and I both silently giggle as we take our props off. This Isn't this the place that was... Isn't this the same place? Is that one over there? Yeah, but this one is the tourist version. Way classier. Whew, he's coming back! I scurried and put my eccentric band prop on. The chef would recommend Amberjack for Michelli and call with cauliflower and mussels. Uh, yeah, yes, we'll take that and give us your three-course meal. I'll have one, too, and an extra. Eh, excellent choice. He writes down our border, our order, and hastily walks away. <laughs> oui, oui, baguette. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to go into a spa after this. Ooh, great idea. Let's invite Granddad, too. I'll call him. <laughs> oh, Granddad, you all right there? <laughs> Another stale noon like any other. Your family isn't coming today, boss? Back to usual, I guess. I, he I heaved a sigh. Hmm. Bring, 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 bring. Beep. Grandpa! Ludus, my boy, what's cooking? Come over to the Michelin Restro downtown. The tourist version. All right, what's going on here? Just come over, quick. I'm going, I'm going. Beep. Keep an eye on the place for me, would you? Sure thing, boss. Ah, oh, I was expecting him to show up in, like, a costume. That would have been funny. All right, what's the plan? Eat with us. What? This place is expensive. <laughs> Philio shows a glimpse of the bundle of cash to him. Where'd you get that? Arcade premium prize. We won a lot. Wow. Is that even legal? He shrugs. <laughs> We're going to the spa after. Wanna come? If you're paying, then I should sure I will. Alright. Wait, isn't he on like a family fortune or something? He probably has a ton of money. Your orders, sir. A couple of waiters circle our table and each place to plate with the prettiest looking food on them. Our eyes glaze over them all as a near as a near dozen plates fill the table. Do, 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 do. I think I already saved. Enjoy. This is a lot. Hmm. The food is kind of small, though. Yeah, it's French food. French food is typically much smaller portions. Boys. I looked around. We're on Earth. <laughs> Not on Earth. In France. <laughs> Where's my car? I ran back to my room and looked for my keys. Oh shit. To my unsurprise, it is also missing. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh my god. Bing, bing. Lude, can you reach for my phone? <laughs> Sorry, I can't see. I can't either. Bring, bring. Ugh. I reached to my left and managed to grab my aggressively vibrating phone. <laughs> Where is the car? <laughs> I, I, I covered the phone. Loot. Yeah. It's Leo, and he doesn't sound too happy. Huh? What's wrong? The car. We took it without permission. You what? Granddad! Let me talk to him. Can you pass the phone? I can't really stand when my nails aren't done drying. I pass the phone I pass the phone to Ludus, who then passes it to Granddad. Lionheart. Dad, you're with them? Yes, we're at the spa right now. The spa? They took my car without telling me, then went to a spa? Listen, I'll fetch you there with your rides, you can join us here. I'm not paying for them, neither will I join. Oh, don't worry about that. Your boys are paying. What? We ate at a Michelin star restaurant early. Another one who paid for it all. Where'd they get that money from? The arcade prize. The arcade prize. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Fetch me there. Fetch me here. Might as well get a message. Get a, might as well get a massage. Beep. Granddad stands up. I'm gonna fetch your father, boys. I'll be back. Alright, we'll be waiting. Stay safe. He, re he requests a pair of slippers and heads out. <laughs> I place my cucumbers back on and return to my relaxation. I love this. 
Hmm. Hmm. You don't look so hot. I couldn't sleep earlier this morning. Not only that, I just woke up only to find the car is missing. Well, she's say uh, she's right here, safe and sound. It's a relief, it is. Also, do you have insomnia? I'll tell you what happened on our way there. <laughs> I mean, a wolf, yeah. Yeah, I can even say that. Did you have breakfast? I ate eggs and toast. I'm good. So about me not being able to sleep. He wriggles his toes and stares at them. And we're... Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. It's been a pretty crazy zany new episode. I quite enjoyed it. It was awesome. <laughs> Lots of silly little circumstances we find ourselves in. It kind of reminds me of an episode of It's Always Sunny. Oh my god, like when D is taking Charlie to the spa and he can't he can't say spa. He thinks she's saying, he thinks she's starting to say spaghetti. Are, are, are you taking me to a spa? Are you, are you, I feel like you're saying spaghetti. Are you taking me to a spaghetti? No, Charlie, I'm not taking you for a, for a spaghetti day. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!